Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Um, so, I am working on this pantry project using the wood that I had uh, put through the planer. I uh, was kind of thinking about it a bit more and I decided to go a different route with the doors for the closet. I might actually even uh, get a cabinet maker to make me some. Um, just having trouble, I, I just don't think it's going to have the right look, the look that I was after. So. That's what we decided to do there, but I did decide to go ahead with this pantry. It's about half done, I guess, maybe a little bit more. It has been, hopefully you can see down there, um, it has been one of the more infuriating uh, projects that I've been working on so far, just because I kind of had to build it in the, like, build it into the corner. I was trying to maximize every uh, inch of space so that meant basically building it to fit um, sort of thinking I would have been better off uh, building it in the garage maybe having it about an inch or half an inch narrower than it would be and then sliding it in and just trimming it out after or something uh, but yeah working back here has been a uh, pretty big pain um, some stuff hasn't been very square back here and um, so this has been taking forever and then the uh, the wood which so far um, has been a big pain in the butt as well just because I've had to match uh, thicknesses so any uh, like if you look at like these two well these came off the same piece of wood so that wasn't bad with that shelf but um, these two, there's two side pieces here, and then down here, hopefully you can see that, this video is not turning out the way I wanted with the lighting, but yeah, you can, then these, this piece, and this piece, and this piece, I basically had to, uh, um, find pieces that were the same thickness. Now, I could have planed everything, and these are just loose right now. I could have planed everything down to the same width, but uh, I didn't really want to do that because I wanted some thicker for some sturdy shelves, and uh, and then some I just had no choice but to plane them down thinner. So those are I'm using for like the sides and stuff. Uh, but yeah, mixing and matching everything has been challenging, and building in this corner has been challenging. I'm hoping the finished product is going to turn out pretty good. I basically decided that uh, I'd have two lower shelves that were quite uh, deep and we'll probably do some sort of pull out um, rack or pull out box uh, for both of them maybe on rails maybe not we'll see how that goes or maybe even like a Rubbermaid container could go uh, on the shelf and just pull out I don't know we'll, we'll think of something that'll work and then uh, up top we went a little shallower and uh, that'll kind of allow us to not, you know, we've, I've had pantries that were quite deep before and uh, you end up with stuff that you can't really reach or stuff gets pushed to the back and it just doesn't get utilized. So uh, there's about 12 inches um, depth at the top, we'll have three shelves there and then down here it's about almost 24 inches depth and then the width on this thing is about 20 inches so um, I guess that's it I'll uh, hopefully do a follow-up when it's completed or close to completed and we'll see how it turned out but uh, I think it'll look fine it's just uh, yeah it's been a bit of a pain putting it together um, and uh, every every piece pretty much has to be measured and, and cut individually I haven't really been able to just uh, do everything all in one shot so uh, I'll let you guys go hopefully like I said you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later